Welcome back everyone, Toy Shus here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we are totally checking out the entirety of the new Marvel 375s. This is Wave 4 featuring a very black costumed Spider-Man along with a stealth armor Iron Man. And then you got US Agent, of course. Gorgeous box art on all these packages, right? The Silver Sentry of the Spaceways, Silver Surfer, Loki, Big Bendy Orns, right? And you got the X-Man Storm, Mistress of the Elements. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice... Oh, you know what? Before I go any further, I should probably tell you, if you watch the entirety of this video, you'll learn how to uh, enter for the giveaway, and you can win yourself an entire set of these. Isn't that kind of cool? You have to watch the whole video, though. I'll know if you don't. Keep them honest, right? Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Hasbro Marvel, not really Marvel Legends, Marvel 375's Wave 4. And of course, here they all are taken out of their little packages. Yeah, I know a lot of people say, oh my god, you open these things up. Well, I mean, that's the fun of these, to be honest with you. They're a nice scale. And when you got a little setup going on, they actually look pretty cool, I gotta say. But we'll kick it off with the Stealth Iron Man. This is just a repainted Iron Man. There ain't nothing special about it. There's no accessories. He's got peg holes on the bottom of his feet. But he does have a nice metallic sheen to him. I really like the blues that they've picked out. The reds and the blues go together well. Same articulation. Yeah, he's a cool looking figure. Then we got U.S. Agent. And I'll say he's crisp. All the line work is great, the reds, whites, and the blacks, but then he's looking off to the side. <laughs> he's got the McFarland side eye going on, unfortunately. Of all the U.S. agents on the shelf, I had to pick that one, right? Anyways, make sure you get a good-looking one. He's got the shield that clips onto his wrist, does the trick. I like the simplicity of the red boots, little red accents here and there, the same articulation that you would expect. Followed by Loki, or the Steer Man, right? Nice pattern on his chest, nice face going on. The The horns are entirely too, I think, out. They should have curled a little bit, but they're very rubbery, so you don't have to worry about if you drop them or whatever. They're not gonna break anytime soon, that's for sure. Like all of them, he's got a peg hole on the bottom of his back. If they ever give us an accessories pack, that would be kind of cool. Right, same articulation as usual. And then, my new favorite Marvel 375, the Silver Surfer. And he comes with his Silver Surfboard, which is really done nice. It's thinner. It's got the lines down the middle. He's got a peg on it. The Silver Surfer himself, really nice metallic looking silver to him. So I definitely appreciate that. And he's got some whites in the eyes, standard articulation and whatnot. This is one of those figures I really wish that his arms could go out and do some surfer poses. You know what I mean? If you put him on one side, his foot will stick off the side. I really wish the peg was more in the middle. I'm just saying. Because then, yeah, you got to turn him around. And he, he's really... You could goo him either way, of course. But, I mean, this way looks a lot more natural, I guess you could say. But in either case, that's good looking Norrin Rad right there. And then you got Storm. And she's the giant size X-Men looking Storm. And she's actually got some nice detail paint to her. I like the little wings of her costume. They're really more... They're harder plastic. They're not as malleable as Loki's horns. Her face... Didn't come out as great as I would hope, I'd tell you that. But you can move her head around pretty good, even with all that white hair. Effects for Storm would have been amazing. So I'm going to borrow some of my Thor effects right here. See how good that looks? These figures really need to start coming with some more effects. I'm telling you that. Jay just adds so much to them. I think that looks so cool. And then you got the last figure of the wave, the symbiote alien costume Spider-Man. And he looks awesome. This is kind of like... Old school Marvel superheroes, that kind of thing, Secret Wars. I don't know, this just in how he looks. He's not the same size, of course, but he does have the dots on his tops of his hands. Same articulation, that's just a good looking black suit Spider Man. And yeah, these are uh, adding up. <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you, there's a lot already that they have come out with. However, I'm really enjoying these. It's just kind of a guilty pleasure. I found these in the store. I'm not going crazy for them. It's kind of like you walk in, like, oh, cool, they got the new wave. Or you find them piecemeal, which works as well. But it's really fun to have 
these on your shelves because as you start collecting them as you start building them you got some fantastic four characters you can see yes captain america is the same as us agent what is he looking at and then you got some villains that's definitely something we need to improve on more villains i say the spider-mans are basically the same just different hands and then the paint of course same thing with the stealth iron man and iron man we're slowly building some x-men right those are all starting to go together but it's when you have older toys, like let's say a Toy Biz Galactus, and then you have these 375s like a Silver Surfer, yeah, you can start practicing for the Marvel Legends HasLab Galactus when he arrives next year. But that's just pretty cool, and they all scale together nicely. Or if you want to go the really expensive route, you got Master Mold. Sure, yeah, you can hold a, a $10 Marvel 375. You can step on Iceman if you want to do that. Hey, I see you admiring my little stand gimmick right there for Storm. Thank you very much. But hey, I think you've watched long enough. So let me tell you about how you can win this new set of the Marvel 375's Wave 4. Now, Hasbro was really nice. They sent me over the Wave. I already had the Wave, so I was like, you know what? I can keep one set carded. And one to open, but I don't do that no, not anymore. I just keep the backs of the cards for these, and I'm good to go. But hey, let's do a giveaway, right? So here's how you can enter. There's three things. One, you got to be following me here and subscribing and ringing that bell and doing all that kind of stuff on YouTube. Two, this will be your entry for the contest. Simply just comment below which figure would you like to see made for Marvel 375. It's your answer. There's no right or wrong answer. Just pick one. You know, don't, don't give me a list. Just, just one. This one is good. That way it's easy peasy for reading. For me, I'd like to see a Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider, to be honest with you. And then number three, this is the big one. Please, please have an address or a mailbox in the United States. I'm only shipping to the United States. Sorry about that. It's just the way things are going right now. We're only going U.S. of A. But... That's it. Good luck. Hope you all win. Only one winner, but you get what I'm saying. I wish you all the best. I'll announce the winner for this contest on October 31st, Halloween. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Marvel 375's Wave 4, Storm, Silver Surfer, Stealth Iron Man, US Agent, Loki, Black Costume, Spider-Man. They're all pretty cool. They all got nice paint to them, except for uh, U.S. Agent's eyes over there. That's a little wackadoo look that he's got going on. But in either case, these aren't for everybody, but for me, and I really enjoy the classic old-school looks of Marvel. The 60s, the 70s, the 80s. Those are the best costumes anyways. We'll get some Jim Lees. Hopefully that would be kind of cool for the X-Men. But you get what I'm saying. If you're a big fan of the Marvel 375s, you're most likely going to enjoy these. Or heck, if you see a character you really like, pick and choose, grab the ones you like. But I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, Hasbro PulseCon is today. Or whenever you're watching this video, it's past. Who knows? This might not age well. But in either case, good luck in the contest. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.